Hello, everybody. I am here with um, the hashtag Think Pink Art, um, and it's the Creative Arts Collaboration um, hashtag for this month. And I'm super excited because um, breast cancer is something that has hit my family very recently, very hard, um, and everybody's okay now. But um, yeah, it's something to not mess around with, and everybody needs to, you know, do their self breast exams and get their ma uh, mammograms. And men need to be careful too. Um, you need to, you know, make sure your body's okay. So go to the doctor. Um, and anyway, so I think that this is a great event to bring awareness to um, to cancer awareness. Um, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. And um, usually I do painting or paper stuff. And this time I'm going to do a paper mache pumpkin because it's October um, in a pink style. So you're going to need a balloon and you kind of want to stretch it out a little bit and you're going to blow it up and you can get it as big as you want it. I'm going to do a small balloon today and man, I just really don't like tying balloons. Eh. Yes, I have pink balloons even, okay? Um, and then you're gonna make, this doesn't look like a paper, uh, pumpkin, right? I mean, you know, I wanna make it more pumpkin shaped, so somebody taught me this really cool thing. So you take this and the tied end, and you push it down, it's hard to do. This is why you don't fill it up completely, and it makes all these balloon noises that I hate. But you push it down and you grab it with this hand. And then you need a partner to take some string. And once you've grabbed it, they wrap the string around. So I'll show you. So you go like this. And you grab the... P and then I kind of take it, twist it a little bit. But there's here's where you would put the string around the the part right there and then it just stays like that and it looks so much more pumpkin shape and by the magic of television I <laughs> made one ahead of time <laughs> um, anyway so and this is nice because it can help you um, you can hang it as the paper mache is drying so what you're gonna want to do at this stage is get some newsprint you can get newspaper any thin paper and I like to tear it in strips and then you know um, strips to go on it and then I just took some white glue and I added some water and I mixed it up and that's my um, my paper mache glue okay just white glue I think I did you know two parts glue to one part water but I really just kind of made it like a thick melted like a melted milkshake okay um, and so then you're going to take your um, paper, and it's nice to have a brush, and you can paint it on, paint on, or I'm sorry, put on the newsprint, and this is the under layer, okay? And you want to overlap the pages of newsprint. Um, and a lot of times I do them horizontal all the way around and all the way under here and then um, when it dries I do another one uh, another layer vertical I like to do two layers um, letting it dry in between of just the newsprint when you're done with the newsprint it's going to look like another magic moment this um, so here is mine, and you can see it has a flat bottom. I just kind of pushed um, the glue in there, um, and here's my my pumpkin. Um, it's getting ready to be a pumpkin. And you know, sometimes the um, pumpkin, um, when you tie it, the tie goes over a little bit to one side, and it's just not a perfect pumpkin. But um, I do this this project with my class, and I tell them. Pumpkins that grow in the pumpkin patch, they aren't always perfect, right? There's all sorts of varieties, so there's no perfect needed here. Um, anyway, and so at this point, if you want to, you can cut off 
um, the string or leave it on. Um, before I put my layer of pretty pink on it, um, I like to take some brown paper, and this you could use a, um, uh, a paper bag, okay? And I like to just kind of crumple and twist. And make it look all twisty and then I just dip this in the mixture and then when it once it does dry and yes you will get dirty but once it does dry it it's really stiff and um, that's nice because it looks like a real stem so I just kind of go like this okay get it and then I just put it directly down in there you know, kind of and just let it dry so you're gonna do one step let it dry do another step let it dry okay so there's my my stem I like to put the stem on before I do the finer la final layers of the pretty layers of um, decoupage paper because then it's underneath and I can um, you know go and decoupage with my decoupage materials which I'll talk about in a minute um, all around here and then it looks like it's just kind of growing out of the center of the pumpkin so again this was like just a paper bag or some brown brown paper okay um, I'm gonna pause for a minute and I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'm gonna show you the papers that I have that you'll probably have too. hold on one sec Hello everybody, I am here with um, the hashtag Think Pink Art, um, and it's the Creative Arts Collaboration um, hashtag for this month, and I'm super excited because um, breast cancer is something that has hit my family very recently, very hard, um, and everybody's okay now, but... Um, yeah, it's something to not mess around with and everybody needs to, you know, do their self breast exams and get their ma uh, mammograms and men need to be careful too. Um, you need to, you know, make sure your body's okay. So go to the doctor. Um, and anyway, so I think that this is a great event to bring awareness to, um, to cancer awareness. Um, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. And um, usually I do painting or paper stuff. And this time I'm going to do a paper mache pumpkin because it's October um, in a pink style. So you're going to need a balloon and you kind of want to stretch it out a little bit. And you're going to blow it up. And you can get it as big as you want it. I'm going to do a small balloon today. And man, I just really don't like tying balloons. Eh. Yes, I have pink balloons even, okay? Um, and then you're gonna make, this doesn't look like a, paper, a pumpkin, right? I mean, you know, I wanna make it more pumpkin shaped, so somebody taught me this really cool thing. So you take this and the tied end, and you push it down, it's hard to do. This is why you don't fill it up completely, and it makes all these, balloon noises that I hate but you push it down and you grab it with this hand and then you need a partner to take some string and once you've grabbed it they wrap the string around so I'll show you so you go like this and you grab the p and then I kind of take it twist it a little bit but there's here's where you would put the string around the the part right there and then it just stays like that and it looks so much more pumpkin shape and by the magic of television I <laughs> made one ahead of time <laughs> um, anyway so and this is nice because it can help you um, you can hang it as the paper mache is drying so what you're gonna want to do at this stage is get some newsprint you can get newspaper any thin paper and I like to tear it in strips and then you know um, strips to go on it and then I just took some white glue and I added some water and I mixed it up and that's my um, my paper mache glue okay just white glue I think I did you know two parts glue to one part water but I really just kind of made it 
like a thick melted, like a melted milkshake. Okay. Um, and so then you're going to take your um, paper and it's nice to have a brush and you can paint it on, paint on, or I'm sorry, put on the newsprint and this is the under layer. Okay. And you want to overlap the pages of newsprint. Um, and a lot of times I do them horizontal all the way around and all the way under here. And then um, when it dries, I do another one, uh, another layer vertical. I like to do two layers, um, letting it dry in between of just the newsprint. When you're done with the newsprint, it's going to look like another magic moment. Um, so here is my, you can see it has a flat bottom. I just kind of pushed um, the glue in there. Um, and here's my, my pumpkin um, that's getting ready to be a pumpkin. And you know, sometimes the um, pumpkin, um, when you tie it, the tie goes over a little bit to one side. And this is not a perfect pumpkin, but um, I do this, this project with my class and I tell them, Pumpkins that grow in the pumpkin patch, they aren't always perfect, right? There's all sorts of varieties, so there's no perfect needed here. Um, anyway, and so at this point, if you want to, you can cut off um, the string or leave it on. Um, before I put my layer of pretty pink on it, um, I like to take some brown paper. down in there you know, kind of and just let it dry so you're gonna do one step let it dry do another step let it dry okay so there's my my stem I like to put the stem on before I do the finer la final layers of the pretty layers of um, decoupage paper because then it's underneath and I can um, you know go and decoupage with my decoupage materials, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, all around here. And then it looks like it's just kind of growing out of the center of the pumpkin. So again, this was like just a paper bag or some brown, brown paper. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause for a minute and I'm going to go wash my hands and I'm going to show you the papers that I have that you'll probably have too. Hold on one sec. Okay, so I'm back and I wanted to show you some different things that you can use um, to the top layer of um, your pumpkin. And of course you can make um, a pumpkin with um, that is not pink, but since this is Think Pink Art, we're doing a pink pumpkin. So the first thing is pink tissue paper. And, um, you know, I have two colors of pink, like a really super light pink and then a dark pink. And you, again, you would just tear it in strips. And um, tissue paper is great. It bleeds a little bit, so the colors kind of bleed together. Um, and you could do um, just a you know kind of mosaic of of different pinks with your pink tissue paper. I haven't been to the dollar store recently, but um, I think they have some tissue paper. So and again, a dollar. So a lot of this is just kind of recycled material or or. Um, inexpensive things. The other thing I have that is really fun is pink um, napkins left over from a birthday party and what you can do is you can take the napkin and if you open it up and then just take the backing off and it looks like it doesn't have backing but it really does and you can kind of tear it sometimes that helps and 
and see if I can get it. Here we go. There. So you can see that it's actually two layers. And you can pull apart the layers. And it becomes thinner. And then you can just use, you don't have to use the princess part. You can just use this part and you can tear. And you can tear these and this would make a really great pumpkin. Okay, so that was a party napkin. And again, you might be able to find these at the dollar store. I just had these. Um, so that's another pink item that you could use. Um, the other thing that you could use is I had been saving. I know, it's just a bad habit. But this really pretty pink um, tissue paper um, from Gifts. I think this was from when my daughter was born. So that's why I saved it, because it was kind of special, and I just thought, oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. It's so pretty. Hear the crackle? It's just so pretty. So um, two different ones. So if you have some decorative um, tissue paper, you can use that. And then I have some fun things. Um, oh, the other thing is you could make one with any sort of collage paper. Like I had made a pumpkin with um, music paper. I'm not quite done with it, but... Um, here's my music paper pumpkin, and you could just paint pink on. Um, just paint the it, the paper pink. Um, you could also paint the paper pink first. Say that three times. Paint the paper pink, <laughs> and um, then you could collage it on, or you could paint it afterwards. Um, and then the last thing that I have that I think is really fun, I'm going to make this pumpkin out of, is um, I have some bingo cards that are made with pink, um, different pinks. Um, this one happens to be a red, but pink, 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 pink. And you could layer it. You could put these underneath and you, you could put some pink tissue paper on top. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to um, speed up the process and I'll show you at the end how my pink, paper pink pumpkin <laughs> um, looks for Think Pink Art. Thanks. Okay, so I'm back with my finished pumpkins. Some are a little wet, but I can't wait to share with you what I did because I just kept going and kept adding. And anyway, I'll show you the first one um, that I made. Um, you can see I was painting a pumpkin. So, um, and here's some glitter. So the first pumpkin was um, 
the one, this one's still wet, that I used um, the paper napkin with um, and I um, took off the back side and this one's still wet but um, I put some glitter on it. I don't know if the glitter is going to show up as well um, but it is so adorable with this fine glitter and it just looks like it's just really cute. I can't wait for it to dry. Um, it's just really nice, you know. Um, so that's wet, but um, I need to let it dry. So that's the first one. And then remember I made one with bingo cards, so um, because I was using glitter on the other one. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, so I'm back with my finished pumpkins. Some are a little wet, but I can't wait to share with you what I did because I just kept going and kept adding. And anyway, I'll show you the first one um, that I made. Um, you can see I was painting a pumpkin. So, um, and here's some glitter. So the first pumpkin was, um, the one, this one's still wet, that I used um, the paper napkin with um, and I um, took off the back side and this one's still wet but um, I put some glitter on it. I don't know if the glitter is going to show up as well um, but it is so adorable with this fine glitter and it just looks like it's just really cute. I can't wait for it to dry. Um, it's just really nice, you know. Um, so that's wet, but um, I need to let it dry. So that's the first one. And then remember I made one with bingo cards. So um, because I was using glitter on the other one. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, but here's my pumpkin. So I um, did the decoupage with the um, bingo cards. And it looked great, but then I thought, oh my gosh how much would gold glitter on the stem look and it looks so awesome and I know who I'm gonna give this to so that one turned out really cool and then I thought okay these two are pretty with the glitter and um, so the next one I had was the music um, paper and I had already started it um, and it was music paper decoupage on it and I painted it pink that's what this you know um, I had some fluorescent pink paint and then I added some um, what is it called? Some um, pearlescent medium, um, just clear medium with pearlescence in it. So I painted it on the uh, on the pumpkin, and it looked pretty good, but there was just something missing. So I went to my stash and I looked, 
at all my random things that I have left over from other projects and I found something perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I might be a dork, but that's okay. Look at this. Ta-da! It has feathers. Isn't that adorable? It is so cute. It looks so cute up on a shelf. Um, so um, I did white feathers and kind of a champagne-y feather. I don't know if you can see that. And a pink and then bright pink at the bottom. And it just looks like a pumpkin fit for a queen. <laughs> So that'll look so cute on a mantle. Um, so I'm going to probably give these to different people um, that have struggled with breast can or cancer or had breast cancer in their family or have some sort of breast cancer connection. I, I want to give these as gifts. So um, the other thing I wanted to tell you all is that you could use any scrapbook paper that's pink. You could use fabric that's pink. You could use anything that's pink or if you don't want to do pink pumpkin you can use anything you know but um, thanks for joining me with this project um, and please like and subscribe I love more subscribers and have a great October thanks bye bye